Hello everyone, this is Rob from MMORPG.com, and welcome back to This Week in Elder Scrolls Online, Episode 15. We're going to call this one The Premature Etwitulation. On this episode, we're going to talk about the community team gone wild, Zenimax doesn't want your money, where are the numbers, add-on of the week, ESO outpost, and a community tip from Garbrek. First off, let's talk about the community team gone wild. At the end of last week, on Twitter, Zenimax stated that they would be doing an update to the game and we would see Craglorn make its way onto the live servers. Turns out that was incorrect. A few hours later, they apologized and said, our bad. Well, at this point, they've got about another few days to get it out or they're going to shoot well past their six week window that they were supposed to have this update out. Clock's ticking. You're charging a sub. You better get it done. Zenimax doesn't want your money. That's right, folks. Turns out that they've had some issues with the billing system. And uh, people can't play that want to. Because they want to pay the sub, but they can't. Which is kind of funny because of how many people complain about the fact that there is a sub. So after the five days that they gave everybody for free, some people had issues with their recurring billing. This has been an ongoing problem with Bethesda. The initial snafu over charging people when they originally put their payment information in just to reserve time and they should have only had a hold on their account and actually got charged. Well now it turns out that they're not getting charged. They can't be charged and they're not getting time. As of yesterday I know a number of people did have this fixed but it has been going on all week and hopefully it's resolved quickly. Where are the numbers? A game this big and you would think so successful at least in sheer box sales they'd be bragging about the numbers yet. However, they've been mysteriously quiet about it. I'm wondering if they're going to wait until they finally release the console versions to say how many box sales they've actually had. Not sure, though, because they've delayed that. So when are they going to give us the numbers? We all know there's a lot of people that at least tried this game, even if they're not still subscribing at this point. So I'm just curious to see how many physical units or how many electronic copies of the game they have, in fact, sold. A new feature over on ZeniMax's Elder Scrolls Online website is the add-on of the week. This week they talk about Wicked's framework. I want to talk about something different, however. Let's talk about ESO Outpost. Our friends over at Zam, the fine people behind ESO Head, ESO UI, WoW Head, all those different databases you have for the numerous MMOs out there, have created a new site, and that is ESOOutpost.com. And what this is, is it is essentially a trading post. Since we can't get an auction house in-game, and I know some of you are glad that that isn't there, and that's fine at this point. I think it's kind of moot to argue about it. They're either going to have it or they're not. They've gone ahead and created a website for everybody to go ahead and trade through. This is a step further than what Tesla Elite was doing, where they had a forum subset where people could go ahead and make exchanges. One problem, once you do the trades on the board, you still have to make sure that you do it in-game. They do have a reputation feature, however, so if people are being shady, you can complain on the forums and people will see the reputation of that person go down and they'll be less likely to do any commerce with them. So hopefully this will be a self-policing community. So if you are interested in selling beyond just on your guild stores, make sure to check out ESOoutpost.com. Got a tip this week, too, from a community member, Garbrek, who also is known as Ryan Getchell, who does a column on MMORPG.com, pointed out that there is now a link on the ElderScrollsOnline.com's website that says Guilds, and if you click on it, it takes you to Guild Launch. So I'm wondering if we're going to see an upcoming promotion between the Elder Scrolls Online and Guild Launch. I do know that Guild Launch already has ESO site templates. So it'll be interesting to see what we have coming down the pipe from them. And that's it for this week's folks. Thanks for listening. Make sure to continue this conversation on social media. You can find me on Twitter at Graculin. Look forward to talking to you next week.